Are you done? Maybe not. My sound is on, so if someone texts me, you're all going to know. As if that were different from any other video that I've done. Oh well. Today's video is going to not even start because I'm going to be completely distracted by the cute things that my dog is doing in the other room. Buddy, do you want to be in the video? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Come here. That made you come running! Oh my god! Hello. He wanted attention, attention so bad. You're so fluffy and soft right now. Oh, thank you. This is what it's like being tall. But I wouldn't know. He's gonna sit here like a parrot. This video is starting off real interesting. This is really a go. Hey, Simba. Will you go make Pride Rock an actual functioning place, AKA this house? Oh my God. <laughs> what color is my hair right now? I, I don't know. I'm not even questioning like the, the shade or tint that it chooses to be every morning now. For a long time, I really wanted my hair to change because everybody had like a story of how like, oh, my hair started out red and then it turned blonde and then it was brown. And I always thought, wow, like, why doesn't my hair do that? I want my hair to change. It's so consistent and boring and I got my wish. Like, it's weird. Like, look at this. Like, red up there and then it's some kind of weird ashy, like, almost like a chestnut thing, like in the back. But if you look like right here, you can see that my roots, my roots are growing in like my natural color, which is like really dark brown. But that's not what today's video is about. Today's video is kind of, it's probably one of the most calming videos I've made ever. Take this video to your heart and just like think about it. And if you can't see the way that I look at things, that's okay, but the best way to like get through in life, it's like the secret to understanding how the way life works, it's understanding and actually being like flexible enough to attempt to understand what I mean. And I would really appreciate it anyway. I've been planning this video for almost like a month and a half now. The only problem with that though is that I may have been planning for a month, but I haven't written down any ideas that I had of what I wanted to talk about in the video. So, kind of just going off of what whatever my brain has been thinking all throughout this morning is what this video content is going to hold. Yeah, that's the word. I really hope that's the right word. Where to start? There's There have been so many times in the past semester that people are very, very excited for me or questioning what I do. And it's usually just one of those two options. It's not even my behavior, don't get me wrong, but it's like my choices in like my everyday activities. No matter what I'm doing, like what am I doing to take up my time and make some kind of schedule instead of having like a lot of free time? It's actually very difficult for me after thinking about all of the things that I do to make up a schedule, what I do in free time. I do not do like normal, considerable fun activities because I'm just very, very preoccupied with my schedule-like activities. When I'm saying all that, I mean I go to college full-time. I work more than part-time. I'm also like helping out with my family. I'm going to soccer games and Christmas programs and game nights and I'm hosting parties or I'm helping out hosting parties. So I know about my parents in four words. They are put together party people. They're always the life of the party, but they always have their shit together. Now back to my schedule. I take 13 credit hours. I work on average 25 hours a week. I am exercising an hour every week, just for like one day a week. Honestly, I'm just doing things that are helping my mind. A lot of times when I meet someone new, they ask me, what do you do in your free time? 
from the sound of it, you really don't ever sit down. And I have to like think really long and hard about what I do in my free time because I say all the things that I'm doing that make up a schedule, but really? I have a lot of free time and I just don't take advantage of it. The times that I do have free time, in what seems like very, very limited amounts, I'm using it to do more things that are good for my mental health. I have already made a video about how to better your mental and physical health. That's not what this video is about. This is just a very, very weird, long way of saying I'm doing a lot of things that make me feel good as a person. When you go to college, sometimes you just don't have a plan. You just have this like crazy feeling of busyness and no way to do anything social. But yet, partying is like a ritual in college. You do it to blow off the steam and stress that you have been feeling all that week. And a lot of times you make a joke about hooking up with someone, not getting a paper done on time, and BSing almost every single thing that you do. I'm not like that. I start my homework at a reasonable time, never the day before. I don't hook up with guys or girls because I am actually like sometimes so worried about what my personal image is of myself because I really don't give a flying fuck about what anybody thinks of me. And when I don't give a flying fuck about what anybody thinks of me, I'm very busy doing things that I know will make me feel better about myself. One of my professors told me that when you have pissed off everybody around you, it means that you are doing things for yourself. You're not just going about trying to please everyone. That like really freaked me out when I first heard it, but now I'm leaving it out so much and I'm really, really proud that I'm doing that. I'm really proud that I'm doing things for myself, but sometimes they just don't work out, even though I wasn't trying to piss off anybody. It's a constant cycle of trying to get something done, but you're never really knowing when the right time is to get it done or the right person to help you get it done. And when you are in college, Having some kind of schedule and a plan is a really good thing. People that go to college, they have this mentality, I want to save somebody. Almost everybody in your lecture hall of some kind wants to save somebody. Someone needs to tell those people that if you're going to college to save yourself, that is okay. You all have this mentality of, I want to save it. Everybody that does something that's going to better themselves is passionate in some way. They want to save something. And I'll just lay it on you right now. I am going to college to be a hero. But heroes don't just wear capes. Being a superhero, it's sometimes a joke that the people that deliver the pizzas are like a superhero and role models can be like a hero in like a child's eye. But there are only so many times that I can explain to someone that I take 13 credit hours, work full time, I'm about to get a new job, I am taking care of a family, I am researching on my own time, I'm exercising every week. What else am I doing? Probably doing like 10 other things that I just can't think of right now. I'm just doing a lot of things and they all coincide with my major. My major is mass communications and I minor in organizational leadership so I can focus on emotional intelligence and I actually do my own side study of focusing on social media studies and how it affects you. But I also am very good at public speaking and I tell people that if they ever ask me like what I'm going to school for, <laughs> the usual reaction to me saying that is, are you doing anything else? Girl, sit down. Are you gonna like go to the moon while you're at it? I'm coming back at you like, keeping myself busy is a way to keep distractions away. I think I've said this before. I make a to-do list every day or at least every week. I am not going to get distracted if I have a to-do list every day and I get it done. And I always feel like if I've accomplished a lot of things on the list, then I have met a goal for myself. It's one of the reasons why I really don't like relationship goals on Twitter. Like relationship goals are just pictures. Once in a while there are a video that someone else has already done. Plus when relationship goals like become a thing on Twitter, like they kind of already have, they're way too general. If you don't have a specific original goal that you set for yourself, you're just gonna become average. You're not gonna be original and you're probably not gonna feel that special anyway. Feeling special is a good thing. 
If anything, that's what I do in my free time. I'm trying to make sure that people feel good about themselves. But that's not a normal answer. When someone asks you, like, what do you do in your free time? Someone might say, canoeing, fishing. They really like to work out. They like to cook. Maybe they like to just chill out and watch movies. I'm not like that. I don't enjoy doing tangible things. I don't even like doing tangible female things like shopping or getting your nails done or like freaking getting like facials and stuff. I don't like doing any of that. I enjoy coming home and like writing about almost everything that made me feel something that day. And I'm going to college so that I can figure out the right ways to combine everything that I learned every single day for four years in school and 19 years so far in life and make it a story. I'm going to make such a heroic story to make sure that people understand that you can come from anywhere and have any kind of struggle and still make it through the day and feel good about yourself. I want to go to college to be a hero. I'm not perfect. I'm not this flawless creature that wakes up and is okay with everything going on in the world or is even okay with everything going on in the environment that they are living in. But you know what? We have all got struggles. We are all on the struggle bus practically every day. And college students are sometimes a joke about that struggle bus. And I wanna think that I'm the exception. I, I provide a whole new mindset and a whole new way to just be colorful and not wear sweatpants every fucking day. And also to just be relaxed and put together so that you can get what needs to be done, done. I really hope that that makes sense to at least somebody, but I said this earlier, if it doesn't make sense to you, like you, the viewer, that is okay with me, because at least it makes sense to me. You don't have to understand every choice that someone else makes, but at least you know what was going to be good for you. And I would like to reference that almost to a Twitter meme about how you may like someone that is like a 10 in your mind and to your best friend, he's like, like a five and a half, maybe. That's okay, he's not your 10, he's mine. He's my 10. And I kind of have that mentality with like how I carry myself throughout the day. I wonder if I'll ever play the game live on my YouTube channel. How many pins just Alex have in her hair? We may just set a record for white girls with bobby pins in their hair. And why would Alex set a record? Because she's part Turkish and she takes very, very nice hair pills that make her hair giant. Oh dude, there is so much layering going on here. It's, it's scary. It's scary bad. It's all an illusion. You know how to think, oh fuck. Oh well, I'll be fine. That is this week's video. I am super glad that I finally got these thoughts all together for you all to listen, watch, and hopefully enjoy. I have been tweeting so much and posting on Facebook so much and staying away from Tumblr and the vent because the emotions have just been crazy for me this past week and weekend. But I shall put my links for my social media accounts in the description below. I always like it when people tell me that they enjoy my videos. Another weird thing about me being a female, I don't really like it when people like compliment me on my physique and my attire or whatever. It's nice, don't get me wrong, but if you tell me like things that are like really cool about how I carry myself or what my videos are like, I really really enjoy that. That's like really cool. It's like the 90% of me that everybody could see, it's no fun when everybody compliments it. But that like tiny, like 10% that like someone who really knows you, like compliments you on the things they really know about you, it's like, cool, like you know me, you understand. Yes. Hey guys, no one's texted me, this is awesome. Just a heads up for, Okay, emails, there you go. Just a heads up for what is coming. I am done with school after this Friday and then I leave for Arizona next week. I'm super, super, super excited for that. I might just post like a really fun video next week, nothing too like serious. Not exactly a sit down video, but actually a compilation of like really, really funny moments from 2015. The game that I told you guys about, the heads up app, that the Ellen show made where like if you get something right you like go down and if you 
just want to like skip it, you pass it back. There's a way to save those videos live and I've saved so many because they have just been the most hilarious reactions trying to just trying to figure out what someone's describing to me that I actually like put them all like next to each other, like the best moments and they're all kind of scattered. So that's just a heads up for what's going on in the next like two or three weeks. But I'm really glad that you guys actually like listen, honestly. It's what women want anyway, a listener. And now that I'm back at my actual house, I can scream by and no one's gonna judge me for it. As if I cared in the first place. Rare moment that Alex wore a dress. Although it's not that rare that I wore a dress, honestly. This was a really long way of saying goodbye, but I shall see you all next week. Bye!